All right, Justin, so the Xbox One sold a million in its first day, the PlayStation 4 sells a million in its first day, and here you are writing articles telling us the numbers don't matter. Explain no. yourself. You know, people have been throwing these numbers around. It's been like a war of numbers recently. The mm. PS4 sold a million in 24 hours, and the Xbox One came out and they said, oh, well, you also sold 20 or a million in, in 24 hours, but the PS4 only launched in two countries, the, or in North America, whereas the Xbox One launched in 13 countries. And it, like, really, we're just going back and forth in something that right now it just doesn't matter. These, these numbers really don't mean anything. Right now, the, the PS4 has sold over 2 million copies, so mm. we're going to hear the exact same thing from Microsoft about the Xbox One. Really, the only thing that's keeping these numbers down is the fact that there aren't that many consoles out there. If there were more consoles, it would meet demand immediately. But like the, these are still really low numbers. We're still so so early into it. it. It just doesn't matter right now. But it's something that it's fun to watch. It's fun for people to argue about. But but ultimately, we're not really going to know how well either of these consoles are doing for like for like another four five months maybe. Because like look at the Wii U. The Wii U actually started out really well. I mean, the yeah. first week it only sold uh, you know like six hundred thousand. In the first month, it sold three million. And recently. Eh, it, yeah, it's fallen off. It's just crawled over four million only maybe possibly last month. Yeah. So is, is this an issue with uh, spin? Is it companies taking numbers and kind of just manufacturing for their own needs? Is it more of an issue with really they're just meeting demand, they're meeting demand by the amount of consoles that they can create at any one time? I mean, it, it's amazing that they've been able to meet demand in, in a way that we never have before. Like mm. the PS2 was one of the most popular consoles of all time, but it, it only sold, I mean, you could say only, it only sold 600,000 copies in its first week, but, but it it's, also... But it sold out. It sold out, exactly. They, they're making more consoles available than they ever have before. It, it's not spin. I mean, these are actual numbers, but it, it doesn't actually mean anything as to, to how successful that console is. It, it's going to take a long time. You're going to have to see... You're going to have to be able to walk into a store and, and have a row of consoles before you, and then that's when we'll know like how well they're doing. But until that happens, it's like selling a whole bunch just doesn't matter. So are you saying at this stage, people want to know whether the Xbox One or the PlayStation for is possibly leading in terms of like um, charts, in terms of like how people are excited about it and whatnot. If numbers at this stage are so relevant, when do you think that they become relevant? Are we talking six months down the line? Are you talking 12, like 18 months down the line? I mean, at the end of the year, it's going to be really big. Like those are going to be really important numbers. But mm. I, I guess it really comes down to how quickly are they going to have enough in stock that, that you can walk into a store and there are enough there, um, whether that's two months down the line, three months on the, down the line, it, it really comes down to how many are they going to be making every month. Like for the Wii, when the, when the Wii came out, super successful for a really long time, they were making almost two million consoles every month, and it was selling out for, for almost an entire year. And like, so we didn't even really know how successful, like how, how long is that tail going to last yeah. until, like actually pretty recently, until later, like later this year when they stopped making Wii U's, when the whole thing just kind of fizzled and died out. And I don't think it's going to take that long for the, the PS4 or the Xbox One, obviously. I think we're going to know a lot sooner than that, but it you know, probably won't come till March. I think then we'll have a pretty good idea of, of which one is doing really well and which one is just doing pretty well. All right, fair I, enough. I mean, neither of them are doing badly. I mean, I, I don't want to make mm. it sound like the, the numbers are, are completely irrelevant. The PS4 is going to be probably doing better than the Xbox One. It's It comes at a $100 cheaper price. It doesn't have that Kinect camera mm. saddled onto it. And, and we've actually done a lot of research, a lot of surveys about what people are, are most excited about. And when people are, are looking into, what am I most excited about? What am I anticipating purchasing? Yep. Most people have said the PS4 over the Xbox One. That might change with you know some exclusive titles that are coming about. E3 is going to be a really big exactly, time for yeah, that. Yeah. People like, change. People who bought one console might want to get a second one in six months' time as well. And is there. Titanfall going to change that at all? Is that going to mm. make people more excited for the 360 or the P? <laughs> is that going to make people more excited for the Xbox One mm. over the PS4? I like. I really don't know how those exclusives are going to pan out. But right now the PS4 is is edging out the Xbox right. One a little bit. Well, lots of ifs, buts, and maybes, and lots of numbers as well. So for continuing coverage of all of the consoles, Xbox One, PS4, and how they're doing, stay tuned to GameSpot.com.